Welcome to the Distorted Trumpet Show. I'm JJ and we are back in the Trumpet Dungeon. Phil is not with me, he is behind the camera. Hello. And we're going to be going through the state of my pedal board. Actually, this is going to be two episodes because I'm currently running two pedal boards. And this is my basic pedal board. This is my gigging pedal board. So the um, the other bands that I'm in, which are basic, basic rock and roll and blues bands, I take this pedal board, I run it in front of a clean amp, and that's what I do for 90% of the time. It's a small pedal board, so I believe this is a uh, 40 centimeters by 60 centimeters from Harley Benton. <laughs> is that slightly smaller than mine? I think it's the same. Same size, isn't I think it? it's the same. Um, I had problems with compressors, that's why that one is not attached. I'll explain why. So yeah, so in terms of what I've got, uh, and this just covers everything for me from a rock and blues thing. So I have a Wawa, a tuner, compressor, I have distortion, I have a synth, and I've got a volume, volume pedal. Right. Um, so I'll just go through my choices for, for each of these. So the, the Wawa, um, normally I wouldn't put this at the beginning of the chain, but it goes there just because it fits. <laughs> Ideally, I would probably put my tuner first, but if I put my tuner, tuner first, it just doesn't work at all. Yeah. So I've got this um, Beringer Hellbabe. It's the one that is pressure sensitive. So until you put your foot on it, it's not working. When you put your foot on it, it works. And when you take your foot off, it switches itself off. And this is the one that we had in episode... Episode two, two. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's really great. It's really robust, really easy. And I don't like clicking wires on and off. It really annoys me. So that's why I went for this one. After that, I go into a Harley Benton tuner. Um, I think it's essential for any guitarist to have a tuner on their pedal board. Um, apart from tuner being really important, it also acts as a mute, so that between songs you can turn yourself off so you get no hum, oh, wow. no background noise, so I think that is critical. After that I'm going into a compressor. Now, the reason this is falling off is because I did have an MXR, the, the classic red, what's it called, red squeeze, the classic MXR red comp. I forget what it's called, um, but I've noticed it's starting to buzz. Now, I don't know if it's the power supply, um, but it's making a buzzing noise. So I've gone back to this, which is the very standard Behringer CS400. Um, it does a job, it works. And it just gives um, my tone a bit more, a bit more something, you know, a bit more something else. You know. Nice. Does whatever a compressor does. Nobody really understands. Make it. better. That's <laughs> a make gooder. <laughs> um, then routing. Which way does it go? Not sure actually. After that, it goes into my overdrive. So this is the Boss OD two hundred. I've got a lot of overdrive pedals, and we've seen we've seen them recently. We've yeah. been through the Rat, the Tube Screamer, the Clom, um, the metal, uh, the the uh, metal zone. Yeah. Um, I've also got a lot more than that. <laughs> um, some that I prefer to those. Um, but the advantage of this one is that it can do everything. It can do fuzz, blues, tube screamer, um, uh, clon, everything. It can do everything. A touch of switch. It's got memories as well. So um, again, I'm playing this sort of covers band group, which sometimes we're playing Queen songs, sometimes we're playing. Um, Metallica song, so I yeah. need a range of distortion. I need something classic, something more overdrive, and then something a bit more heavier. And this allows me to do that for each setting. <clears throat> you can also add a second boost, and that boost can either be a clean boost or you can actually stack two distortions to together. So for me, this is the ultimate combo, easy to use distortion pedal. It's and not the best sound, and is is getting to the, the different distortion sounds like is that the you just turn the knob to get them both or yeah so oh that's there that. so so you got one one two three four five six there's 12 different types of distortion right 
and then you add you can add a boost in as well and you've got different types of boost there's a noise gate in there okay there's loads and loads you can do with this yeah, yeah. this is a very uh, second hand it's like 150 or something cool um, and it will do everything it's not the best sounding pedal i will, will say that it's right. not but it it does everything get a lot bang for your buck exactly yeah and it's solid and it's great i love it after that, I'm going into this. So this is another synth pedal. <laughs> you know, I love synth pedals. Um, now, the reason I've got this here is that it, it can do a couple of things. I'm, I'm not, honestly, I'm not really using it as a, as a synth. I'm using it as an octaver. <clears throat> There's a couple of songs that I play that want a real low octave bassy sound. Um, this will do that. And then there's a couple of songs that I want a sort of chorusy sound. Um, and it doesn't strictly do that, but what it, the way that I've got it set up is that I put a string sound on it, which just gives it a bit more ambience. It's nice. almost like a chorus. Cool. So this is a chorus and an octaver. Otherwise, I would put a chorus and an octaver on the board, right. but they're too small to actually fit on. I'd have to put them sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, when I go to simple gigs, I just want something really, really basic. Finally, I have this, which is amazing. It's um, it's the Ernie Ball uh, VP Junior Tuner. Nice. It's um, it's surprisingly expensive, um, but it's great. And just for the ignorant amongst us, that's a different purpose of tuner than that tuner. Coming on to that, <laughs> this is actually I'm only using it as a volume pedal. It ah. does have a tuner built in. So in case I'm not happy with this one, sometimes when you're in a live gig, there's so much noise and just doesn't tune very well. This is basically a backup tuner. This can be a volume pedal alone. It can be a tuner pedal alone. Right. It can be a volume tuner, in which case when you put it to zero, like that, so the volume's at zero, yeah. then the tuner function kicks in. Oh, okay. And the tuner is actually really good. Um, and it's got various send and returns on the back. So this is, I just use this as a volume pedal. Um, and then around the back of my board, it's a bit messy. Um, we have just a very standard Harley Benton power pack. Oh, cool. Which uh, goes into the wall yeah. with a uh, very, very standard plug. So that's it. That's my super basic, does everything, rock, blues, Easy listening pedal, and I will run this in front of a clean amp. So um, the amps that I'm using, at the bigger gigs, I've got an Orange Rock above 50, um, which does have a dirty channel. Sometimes I will use the dirty channel. But the idea behind this board is that I run it in front of a clean amp. I've got overdrive distortion, a bit of flange, wire wire for a solo, and volume pedal. That's all I need. Nice. Love it. That's it, that's my simple, basic, pedal. and it's light, because sometime in the future, you'll see my monster <laughs> pedal board, which weighs a ton. So. A mega board. Any other questions on my basic? No, board? I think you are released. That was uh, very informative. Okay. Well, cool. Goodbye from the dungeon. Cheers. Bye. See you later. <laughs>